G'day guys, my name is CJ. This is the Jibin key holder, and weird name aside, it could be one of the best key holders on the market right now. And if you think it looks a little familiar, we're well, not alone. Let's take a look. Now let's get this out of the way straight up. This thing looks almost identical to an orbit key and you can't get around that. But in my eyes, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And let me tell you why. The orbit key has remained my go-to key holder for the last six, seven years, ever since they released the original version back on Kickstarter. Now for me, I love it because of its small footprint, simple Swiss army knife design, and it stops that distracting jingle happening in my pocket or in a bag. Not to mention it also makes turning and using the keys a lot easier too. But there's always been one thing that annoys me about it. And admittedly, it is a minor one, but it's still significant and it's the locking mechanism. So now at its most basic, the orbit key is held together by this screw mechanism that locks in place. And that's thanks to a couple of washers on the inside. Now it's very secure and works really well, but if you needed to add more keys or make adjustments, you need a coin to physically unlock it. Now in Australia, it takes a 10 cent coin, no thinner or thicker. And in practice, it really isn't a major, major problem because honestly, how often are you gonna be switching your keys around anyway? But when you do, you have to fumble around trying to find the right size coin. And if you don't pick the right size, you could end up scratching the really nice anodized finish as you can see I've done here. And that makes me sad. So then here you've got the Jibin, which like the Orbit Key is an Aussie product, which I love and love promoting. And it aims to solve this problem by being a completely toolless product. No need for coins or screwdrivers. And so you end up with a product that looks exactly like an Orbit Key, but without that round bit of hardware on the top. Now it's basic structure is exactly the same. It's a piece of material, leather in this case, that wraps around your keys held together by another screw mechanism that allows you to access your keys like a Swiss army knife as well, just like that. It even has a D ring on the end to attach a car key or garage fobs. But the difference now is that the mechanism that holds the keys is now baked into the inner structure of the strap without any evidence of hardware on the outside. So how does it work? Well, pretty similar really. You need to choose the keys you need, you orient them in the direction you want them to face, stack them up, grab one of the two included screws and spin away. That's it. Then once you're happy with the tension, you line up the squared off head with the clip on the inner aspect of the strap, give it a squeeze, and then it clicks in. Pretty simple. And I gotta say, once it's in, it's pretty damn secure as well. Now obviously time will tell whether or not the mechanism is gonna wear out with repeated pulling and clicking, but so far it feels pretty great. And that's pretty much it when it's all said and done. It works and functions exactly like an orbit key was, but without the fiddling around to get it started. Now there are of course a couple of differences as well. I mean, it wouldn't be a new product without upping the competition. The Jibin is technically said to hold nine keys, which is two more than the orbit key. And then to cater for this variation, as mentioned before, each Jibin comes bundled with two screws, one for a smaller size, which fits around three keys, and then you get the large one that can fit all the way up to nine keys. Now on top of that, Jibin also offers a bunch of accessories that orbit key also offer. And that includes USB drives, key rings, and of course, multi-tools that very importantly functions as a bottle opener for us Aussies, a box opener, and a nail file. I mean, it works very well as a nail file, but I just don't know how many people actually needed one on hand all the time. But hey, it's here. Also, there's a slight difference in the design of the leather straps too. The Jibin's leather extends all the way to wrap around the edges on the sides, which might mean slightly more durable edges compared to the painted edges on the Orbit key. Though speaking from personal experience, my Orbit keys have gone through hell over the last few years and the edges are perfectly fine. No chipping or peeling away, so it's not fragile by any means. It also has a marginally bigger footprint compared to the Orbit key with a slightly wider and slightly longer frame. And also the strap is also slightly thicker as well. So whether or not that matters to you will be down to preference, but for me, 
I don't feel it makes that big of a difference. Then finally, you've got the overall look. The Jibin is a clean slate with basically no visual flares, whereas the Orbit Key at least has that external hardware to showcase its logo on the side. It gives it a pretty unique look, especially compared to the Jibin, which I guess to some might think it looks a little boring. But a counteraction to that is that at least Jibin also offers monogramming, so you can personalize or brand it if you really wanted to. But again, I think it really comes down to preference to what you like. Personally, I think the clean look of the Jibin is really good and I love it. It's perfect for the minimalists out there. On top of all of that, an underrated benefit with the Jibin is that the lack of any metal bits on the outside as well makes it much less likely to scratch your phone or other belongings if it's put in the same pocket or bag. And even more so if you remove the D-ring as well, and that's easily done. But otherwise, the Jibin key holder is as you'd expect. It's solid, it's a high quality key holder, and it solves one of the main issues that I've had and I'm sure many have had with the Orbit key. And ergonomically, it's basically no different. Where you choose one over the other really depends on how high a priority you place on how sleek it is and also the material the strap comes in. Now, if you definitely want something in canvas or silicon, well, you gotta go get an Orbit key. But if you want leather, well, you should definitely consider the Jibin. I mean, sure, Orbit Key offers a couple more colors like blue and green, but if you're a purist and are happy with the classic black, brown, tan, or pink blush colors, the Jibin still has you covered. And it comes in at $49.90 Australian dollars or $38 US dollars. It's priced at basically the same or less than an Orbit Key without any real disadvantages. And that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think of the Jibin. Does it look too much like an Orbit Key? Let me know why that's good or bad in the comments below. And of course, links will be in the description. Thanks for watching guys. Give us a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and ding the bell icon so you don't miss out. Stay safe guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Say good day to your mum for me. Cheers.